Okay, so now you've gotten past inspection, you're at the appraisal. What is an appraisal and what if certain things happen during this part of the transaction? That's what we're gonna cover today. On the appraisal, an appraisal is an opinion of price. There's, there are licensed appraisers that will go out to the property that are chosen by a random pool from a lender. The lender's the one that orders that. The appraiser goes out, spends 20 minutes to an hour on the property measuring, checking out comparables, and then puts together a report. Typically takes about seven days after they're there to the point where you get the report. And then the value comes back. Keep in mind that an appraisal is an opinion of price. And so while these appraisers are licensed and they're trained to do this, if you have 10 appraisals come in from 10 different licensed appraisers, they may be a little bit different because they're coming from human beings. So keep that in mind. It's not the law, it's an opinion of price. Second, we gotta talk about what if it comes in high? What if you're under contract at 275,000 and the appraisal comes back at 290? If that happens, you should throw a party because there's really no negative effect on, on that process. Your, your loan amounts don't get adjusted. It really doesn't do you any more good. It just gives you the peace of mind of knowing that you're moving in with some instant equity, which is great. Now, next question is, what if it comes in low? If an appraisal comes in low, it creates some issues in the contract. Say for example, you're under contract at 275,000, but the appraisal comes in at 255,000. In that case, we've got a $20,000 gap. Lenders won't lend on more than whatever the loan amount is of the appraised price, not the purchase price. And so keep that in mind. If, if you're getting a loan, for example, at 10% down, then that lender is only gonna lend on 90% of the appraised value, not the purchase price. So therefore, they would lend on 90% of that 255,000, not the 275,000. So therefore, there's a gap of $20,000 $20, that has to be negotiated between the buyer and seller. Buyers and sellers can typically talk during this, this point. Their agents will discuss what's gonna be um, the next step and what, what, what course of action to take. There's three options. The deal can terminate and both sides go their separate way. You can negotiate and try to meet in the middle. If you do that, however, the buyer has to bring, in this case, $10,000 worth of cash to the table in additional funds to close. And the seller would have to come down $10,000 on their purchase price and get $10,000 less on, in their proceeds after the sale. The other thing that can happen is the seller can come down all the way, $20,000 down, or the buyer can come up all the way. Depending on where the market's at, this could happen either way. But you gotta trust in, in your agent to be a good negotiator for you and not say too much too soon in these situations. The other question some people have about appraisals is who can attend, who can be there? The listing agent is the only one and the seller um, that can be there at their house when the appraisal happens. The buyer agent and the buyer don't get any access to the appraiser during this time based on regulations from Dodd-Frank um, that happened a few years ago. The listing agent is there only to access the property, to meet the appraiser, build rapport, and give the appraiser some comparable properties to look at. Um, some listing agents will attend, some won't. Um, depends on what their, what their preference is. Hopefully that answers some questions for you on the appraisal process. Stay tuned for more videos. Our next one is coming soon.